Hello and welcome back to the channel. We are continuing our playthrough of Neverwinter Nights, the Hordes of the Underdark. In the last episode, <clears throat> we saved the Formian Queen from the drow raiding party that was down here. <clears throat> Not sure what they were having them mine for, but they were using them to dig around. Oh yeah, they're trying to dig a tunnel. They were using the Formians to dig a tunnel to get more control over their access to Waterdeep. But anyways, we came down, we saved the queen, we killed the drow camp, and now we're ready to move on. Apparently, we need to go through this north passage here to make our way to Halaster, who has been captured by the Valsharis, which is apparently the matron mother of a very of a newly powerful drow house. So that's what we're doing right now as I walk backwards into... As I walk backwards. Um, so we're just trying to make our way through this area to see if we can find Halaster, free him, and that will prevent him from being able to... Uh, uh, that will re remove control of the Undermountain from the drow. The, the Nathara, the drow, who approached you earlier, materializes. We meet again. Somehow I knew we would. Uh, we talked to her earlier. Apparently she's part of a rebel faction of drow that are trying to stop the Valtras from doing what she's doing. And it's good to see you again. Uh, thank you. It's good to see you again, too. I have to warn you about something. I've been scouting the area, and I came across a large encamp encampment of the Valtress's forces near here. If you take this bridge, you'll be walking right into them. Well, thanks for the warning. I'll be, uh, I'll be careful. There's more. The drow have set up a pair of ballistas on, on the ridge behind their, camp behind their camp. If you attack them head-on, they'll use the ballista to smash you to bits. But there's a way you can sneak past the camp and get to the ballista unseen. Then you can use their own weapons against the rest of the camp and rain death down upon them from above. The drow can be a formidable opponent, so we should take any advantage we can get. There's something to be said for using cunning instead of brute force. Just follow the narrow corridor to the north. It seems to lead to a dead end, but there's actually a secret passage that will take you right to the ballista. Well, thanks for the information. I have to go unless there's something else. Um, I don't think... Yeah, okay. Goodbye, and good luck. Maybe we'll meet again sometime. Okay. So, it seems like... We need to go this way. That'll get us up to the ballista, which will let us attack the people there. So, let's save. We'll, we'll keep over to the right over here so that hopefully we don't encounter anything. We'll swing up around this way and get to the hidden tunnel over here. Pop the ballistas on them and then see what happens. Oh, there's a beholder over here. And, uh, oh, ow! How about the? Okay, the whole point was to not get have to fight this stuff. All right, come on. Let's go this way. Come on, come on, come on. Super annoying. But I do want to see what he had on him because, you know, I'm a greedy rogue. Oh, so, pretty much nothing. <laughs> Pretty much nothing. Odd pile of rocks. Okay. Isn't there another one? I thought it said there was another one over here. How about the... Okay, can we hit her, please? Because this is ridiculous. How about the... Can I use it again? does it take to recharge? OK. 
Can you go attack, please? Come on. This is not the end. Come on. Kill the battle cleric. This is not the end. That's the end for you. Alright, come on, kill her. Okay. Why is that still alive? Oh, because it's this battle cleric here. Kill it. Kill it, kill it. Almost a hundred points of damage with two hits. Dude. Okay. Oh. Uh, it got destroyed somehow. Alright, well, let's see what these guys had on them. Chain mail of... Dude. Okay. Um. Alright, that'll be for Dalen then. Let's see. Uh, well, hold on. Hmm, that's... He's got spell resistance from that armor. But Sharwin has this awesome red dragon armor. So, as much as I, you know, at some point you gotta just, you gotta start making sacrifices for things. So we'll take that, we'll take the boots off and give him the gargoyle boots so that she can have the boots of speed. Jeez, 40 armor class. Okay. I wish I had a 40 armor class. <laughs> Jeez, dude. Okay, uh, so that was nice. Let's see, we need to get that in there. I don't think we have anything else. We're getting some pretty decent loot off of these bodies. I feel like I'm getting way more off of bodies than I am uh, out of chests and stuff, which is, which feels weird to me. Oh, there's another one. That's another one. Oh, he's running away. No, you don't. Of course, it's locked. Well, hopefully, there's going to be something really awesome in here, so let's see. It's always kind of frustrating when you get a nice big chest like that and it ends up not having anything in it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. We're taking all of this. I saw a, cur a courtesan blade in there. Okay. Oh, this is all our stuff. Okay. Oh, no, no. This is all of our stuff. Awesome. Okay. Robes of the Dark Moon, which is what we had. Okay, we're definitely putting the cloak on. We're definitely putting the boots of Elven Kind on, which sucks, but it's going to make me much, much more likely. Okay, we got all of our stuff back. Erebus sword. So we got more boots of speed. So I think we're going to swap out what's his, what, what's his face's stuff again. Okay, I have to... Um... 
Okay. Sorry, you guys are going to have to just sit here and watch this because this is... We got all of our stuff back. Dude. Um, okay. Boots of the Sun Soul plus three. My Moonstone Mask gave me five, 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 and Concentration versus Lore and Search. So we're definitely putting that back on. Um, okay, Potion. Okay, we got, all, we got all of our stuff back. So the Ruby Crossbow got in a plus three attack bonus. So we're definitely switching back to that one. Did our magic... Okay, so all of our magic bags and stuff are emptied out. Ugh, I'm like... Bracers of Dexterity plus five, so we'll definitely do that. Death... All right, so greater... Well, we're, gonna, we're definitely going to swap that out, because that's going to give me immunity to death magic as well as fear. Um, okay. I'm just trying to... We're gonna have to... There we go, okay. We're gonna have to, um... Visit the shop guy again, but... Okay. So first and foremost, I think what I need to do is I need to... All right, uh, like I said, I'm going to go through all of this stuff really quick and then we'll sell off a bunch of stuff and then I'll be back because you guys don't want to watch me doing inventory management. But holy crap, we got our stuff back. So that's cool. I'm so glad we got the, uh, the cloak. And <sighs> OK, I'll be right back once I'm finished me messing around with all this stuff. OK, uh, so as you can see, I've gone through all of my inventory and kind of sorted everything out. So I'm stuck with Arabesque sword because it's a it's a story item and you can't sell it. So. There's that. But I have my bags all organized now. I kept the best of everything that I could keep. Um, for Dalen, I do have a I do have a belt of fire giant strength. So I'm re I replaced that other one that I had, the hill giant strength. So this will give him a plus five if I ever decide to swap him out. Again, I don't ever expect that I will because the fear immunity is much more important to me than him getting one or two more damage every attack he does. So there's that. Um, <clears throat> I went ahead and put on my boots of uh, my boots and cloak of elven kind, which is going to be ext extremely helpful for me because um, armor class isn't nearly as important as being able to hide in plain sight for this character. So that's that's clutch. Um, I got my armor amulet of natural armor plus five back my Ring of Protection plus five back, and my Ring of Scholars, which gives me the uh, plus four, plus five to my lore. Got my Moonstone Mask back, which gives me Listen, Search, and Spot, plus uh, some Concentration and Dark Vision, which is very nice. And we got our Courtesan Blade back, which gives me a 50% chance for a stun for two rounds, which, you know, edges out the plus three that I had from the dagger that I had. Now, the only thing that I'm a little bit not sure about is, is I had these two short swords here that each did 1d6 sonic damage a piece. Uh, yeah. Not really sure about that, but the courtesan blade has keen, which I believe doubles my crit range, and then I also have the critical for daggers, the improved critical for daggers, which should, additionally, I think it stacks. I think it stacks. I'm not sure, but I think it stacks. So I'm going to hold on to these for now. I don't know that I'm ever going to use them, but better to have them and not have to buy them back, because it's not like they weigh that much, right? They're, yeah, they're three pounds a piece. I'll just, I'll chuck them in a magic bag here, and that should take care of that. Okay, so I think... We've done just about everything that we can. For my character, I did put on my original robes, so now that I'm not, or my original robes of the Dark Moon, so I'm not running around in um, like a robe robe anymore. I'm wearing more roguey kind of clothes now. Um, the vendor here isn't gonna have anything for me to actually buy. Um, I sold off everything that I don't need anymore. So we have a nice clean inventory. We got all of our gear back. I feel so cool right now. Not that I feel cool as in socially cool, just it feels cool to have all of our all of our gear back. We have like ugh. Ugh. That courtesan blade was really nice in the first campaign. I have to say. 
Having my enemies just get stunned every once in a while was pretty, pretty BA. Okay, so we're gonna come through here. Okay, this is the west area they were talking about after going. The has come back. Oh, here we go. Silent as ever. A shadow in the corner shifts, revealing the revealing itself to be Nathira. She looks at you cautiously before emerging. And so we meet again. Okay. You'll be pleased to know that your quest to rid Undermountain of the Valshares's drow is nearly at its end. The Mad Mage is being held just ahead, guarded by some of the Valshares's most loyal and powerful servants. No doubt they they'll attack us on sight. Us? Are you helping us in this fight? You want to end the threat to Undermountain, so do I. The way to do that is to kill the drow in the next room so you can free Hilaster. He is imprisoned in a magical globe powered by three energy stones. If the stones are destroyed, the Mad Mage will be free, and he'll likely help us dispose of any remaining drow. You might be able to do this alone, but you'll have a better chance if I'm fighting by your side. Now let's stop talking about it. Let's go save him. Oh, and she just joins the party. How convenient. I'm sure she's going to turn on us, but whatever. She's a wizard, rogue, assassin. Um, okay. <laughs> we'll save. I have to, I, I'm, I'm sure she's going to turn out to be some kind of double agent or something stupid like that, but whatever. We can't progress from without we can't progress through the story. So, whatever. Moving on. The Valshares is tired of sending raiding parties through one at a time, old man. Open the main portal to the Underdark. If the portal is opened, more drow will come through. I don't want that. I can barely stand you. The Valshares' army is ready to move against Waterdeep. Tell me how to open the main portal. The last thing I need is another dark elf. I'll just keep my secret all to myself. No! No more rhymes, you senile old fool! Time to teach you the penalty for defying the drow! This is a waste of time, mistress. This human is too mad to reveal any useful information. We will break him in time. Once we learn all the secrets of Undermountain, the Valshares' army will march through its halls and descend upon Waterdeep like- Mistress, forgive me, but I heard something near the doors. Then go over there and search the area, fool! Do I need to tell you everything? Yes, Mistress, right away. Abathy! <laughs> nice. All right, let's go kill these guys. Can I hit her? I'm gonna kill her first. Come on. Come on. I'm trying to kill her before she does something ridiculous. Well, I don't want to kill. I don't want to attack the mages right now because they're surrounded in fire. All right, I'll run this way. Okay, seems like everybody's everybody's doing okay. Mithril Shield. Very nice. Robe of Vecna. Boots of Striding plus three. Potions of Critical Wounds or whatever. Sorry, I like to... Uh, I like to metagame just a little bit by resting whenever possible before I do anything, because you never know what's going to happen. Okay. Doesn't seem like there's any other gear for me to pick up. So let's talk to Halaster. 
Okay, fine. How about the... I'm at the... Face my savage fury! Alright, I guess we're gonna have a conversation now. Oh, come on. Oh, is he gonna kill him? Oh, are we gonna watch him kill a bunch of people? That'd be cool. He's free. Don't let him unleash his magic. No, yes. Too late. Woohoo! Very nice. Me likey. Alright, Halaster. Hello, hello. The strange maid brushes the dust from his sleeves before turning his wild eyed gaze to you. He surveys you thoroughly up and down twice, then sniffs dismissively. You're not the one I expected to see, but I'll let you live since you set me free. Who are you expecting? Uh, sorry. The, there is a sudden flash of light and the room fills with colored smoke. Then the air clears and you see not one, but two virgins of the mad we wizard standing before you. Finally, you're here. What took you so long? I was beginning to think maybe something was wrong. Since we're both clones, you should know why I'm late. To lure out the matron, I used you as bait. A brilliant trick, a wonderful trap. She'd come here to gloat, I'd pop in and zap. But you meddlers ruined my plan by freeing my clone. Now the Volsheris won't dare come out from her home. This is all a trap? You let yourself be captured? The first Halaster, first Halaster interrupts you before the second can answer your question. Wait, just a moment, my identical friend. You seem somewhat confused. I want it to end. You were nothing but a safety device. I created a clone and put it on ice. I knew that one day I might get into trouble. I'm the real Halaster. You are just my double. The second Halaster shakes his head. I think you're mistaken. You were only a ploy. I'll let the drow catch you. You're not but a toy. Okay, this is getting annoying. I know you. I know how you feel, but you're not even real. You're just a double to save me from trouble. It's hard to accept, but I'm afraid that it's true. The original Halaster is me, but not you. Which is the clone and which is the master? How will we know which is the real Halaster? I can't believe this has happened. What a disaster. Um, Can you guys settle this later? Both versions turn, their eyes dark with anger at the interruption. Then they both smile as an idea pops simultaneously into their heads. We'll settle this later, but we're when we're just one-on-one. -on -one. But first, the Valsharis must suffer for what she's done. Someone must get her, make her pay for her crime. I'd do it myself, but I can't spare the time. The first Halaster waves his hand, and you feel the power of a spell coursing through you. It feels as if a hundred tiny hooks have been latched into your very soul. What did you just do to me? Nothing much, just a spell to make sure you obey. I put a gaze on you. This better this way. Now to the under, down to the underdark is where you will go. Working for me now, you you can't really say no. The gaze will bind you to Halaster's service. He's compelled you to enter the underdark and kill the Valsharis. If you don't obey him, you'll wither away and die. And this, ugh. And this is a thanks I get for helping you. What can I say? Everyone knows I'm insane. No doubt you'll know better if this happens again. You have no choice but to do as I say. Once the Valsharis is death, my spell go dead, my spell goes away. After that, I promise you'll truly be free. But don't do something foolish like come after me. You're sending him down into the Underdark? He'll have need of my skills. You better send me too. No, no, no. It won't work that way. It's up to me if you go or you stay. You don't give me orders here in my home. I'm sending your friend down all alone. Dude, I'll send you back up to the top. Let water... This is annoying. They're gonna all the gear that they had is gonna go with them. I'll send you back up to the top. Let Waterdeep know the invasion will stop. I'm cleaning house. The drow are no more. Under Mountain will be as it was before. Please, Halaster, send me down as well. Whammy will need my help, and I have allies in the Underdark. The seer, the seer will also stop. Want to stop the Valsharis? Please. You make a good point, and you asked real nice. Am I able to do anything? I'd like to get their equipment off of them, if at all possible. Okay, so... Like, sorry, but... Oh, oh, I can't take that off of her. 
Okay. Like, sorry, I'm I'm not getting I'm not giving up all this stuff that we have. Screw that. <laughs> uh, he keeps that, but I can bring this and this and these. Okay. So now both of these guys have given me everything they have. Okay, uh, I'll send you right, all right, to the camp of the seer. Enough time has been wasted. I want you to go. The Valsharis is waiting far down below. Wait, I need time to prepare myself. Uh, this isn't over, Halaster. So sorry, no time. You really must go. Don't worry, it's fine. You'll do well, I know. Goodbye and best wishes. I bid you good luck. Go kill the Valsharis because, uh, because until then, you're stuck. Great. Oh, okay, I would have had a, oh, never mind. I was about to say, I would have had a chance to do something, but I guess not. The situation is grim. How long do you believe we have? We can't be sure. Maybe only a matter of days. Protect the seer. Do you not recognize one of our own? Nathira. You have returned. Mother Seer, it is good to see you once This is all new to me. You, so we're all in parts I haven't I played see before. You have returned with another. Someone very important indeed. The Drow Woman regards you with with an ease that is at first unsettling. She possesses the same ageless dark skin beauties beauty as the other drow, but unlike the others, her eyes hint of both advanced age and compassion. You are most welcome here. I am the seer. I have awaited your arrival with great anticipation. Please, come. Do not be alarmed. Did you just call me Rivel? It is no insult, my friend, merely the drow word for your race. If you prefer, I will call you by the name of Ramian. I am sure you have many questions, and I assure you that they will be answered. I am curious first, however, as to how you came to appear before us. I believe I can answer that, Seer. He, ma he managed to free Halaster from the Valsharis, ending her efforts to use Undermountain as a base to launch her attacks on the surface. Halaster was quite enraged with her attempt to abuse his realm, however. Once freed, he teleported Ramian and myself to go uh, self down here to deal with the Valsharis once and for all. Indeed, when I saw the two of you here, I'd hope Ramian to come willingly to join us. He has been drafted into our cause, so to speak. The Mad Mage has placed a gaze on him uh, to force him to try to kill the Valsharis. I see. Well, I'm sorry that he violated you in that way. This is not how I would have wished to acquire your assistance. But what's done is done, and we must proceed from here. Although Halaster has joined, has forced you into joining us, our fate is closely, t uh, your fate is closely tied to ours. I am sure you have many questions, but there is much we must tell you first. It is important that you know something of the Velsharess if you are to help us against her. Well, then tell me what I need to know. I am glad you are being reasonable about this, for we must work together if we are to defeat our common foe. I believe it is time for our guest to learn more of the Valsharess herself. Nithira, if you would be so kind. Of course, Seer. She bows her head in acceptance and then steps forward. The Drow have ever been ruled by the matron mothers who head the great houses. The Valsharess was once one of these, ruthless and powerful in her art, but no more so than any other matron mother. But then Loth, the queen of spiders and goddess of the Drow, disappeared and Drow society was thrown into utter chaos. The Valsharess seized on this opportunity. She summoned a powerful Duke of the Nine Hells, an archdevil she bound to her service. Drawing on this enslaved devil's power, she became a conqueror of the Underdark. Once the Underdark is hers, she will turn her attention once more to the surface. She believes herself a queen, a Valsharess by our tongue, and her ambition knows no end. Um, so how does all this involve me? It involves you because she wants you dead. Not long ago, the devil she had enslaved warned the Valsharess that there was one who could defeat her. She ordered an augury and was presented with an image of you. Hmm, I dreamt about that. I had the same dream. For whatever reason, destiny has singled you out as the instrument of the Valsharess's defeat. Hmm... It's ridiculous. I mean her no harm in the slightest. 
Are you certain? With the gaze Halaster just placed you under, it would appear that you had little choice. Destiny has decreed that you alone can stop the Valsharis, which gives us all the more reason to support you. So what do you propose we do now? Yes, that is a good question. What are we to do now? There is only one thing that I can do. I must put my faith in the goddess. And that means putting our faith in you. Our fate lies in your hands. And uh, the nearby tiefling steps forward. Are you sure, Seer? What do we really know about this person? He could be the death of all of us. The seer holds up a delicate hand. Our lives are irrelevant, good Valen. The Valsharus must be stopped at all costs, and Ramian is the key to stopping her. You know, I don't you know I don't believe in your ways. I won't throw away my life by blindly following anyone, and I don't think anyone here should either. You have saved us more times than I can count, Valen, but the army of the Valsharus will march soon against us, and even your great skill in battle will not be enough to save us. I'm willing to defer to your judgment for now, but what makes you think this human stranger can stop the army of the Valsharus? The seer turns to face you. I know you are a rogue of great power, but you are much, so much more than this. You alone can save us from the Valsharis. Well, what do you expect me to do? All the drow here are in Lithmyar. All, all the drow here in Lithmyathar will stand against the Valsharis. She is one common enemy to us all, but even our united strength will not be enough to defeat her massive army. Our only hope is for you to find some way to strengthen our forces or to weaken the Valsharis and her allies. Nyatharo can help you with this. I can give you information on the Valsharis' allies. Perhaps we might consider striking at her through her friends or turning them to our side. Valen, the tiefling warrior, adds, I can also help you. I know much about the legends of the Underdark. I have heard rumors of powerful artifacts and allies we might be able to acquire. Thought you didn't trust me. I haven't set aside my suspicions yet, but if you are truly the savior, the seer thinks you are, I'm willing to provide you a chance to prove it. So it appears you are not alone this alone in this. Nathira and Valen will help you. They know much about the Underdark and the Valsharis. Do not be afraid to ask them for help. Hopefully you can find a way to strengthen our own forces or weaken the Valsharis before her army defends, 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 descends upon you. Um, why are you called the Seer? You know, I was not always known as such. My friend... A very long time ago, I was the daughter of a major house and, amb and as ambitious to gain power as many other respectable drow. That was not meant to be, however. I found the worship of my lady Ilustre, and she has gifted me with visions. And so I am called the Seer. Okay. Who is this Ilustre? Uh, many do not know it, but not all of the drow are evil. Our Lady Alistre is the mistress of song and dance, and she refuses to allow joy and goodness to be taken from us. She is our redemption. Are you a priestess? I lead, my follow I lead my followers. Many of the Drow do not follow her, though, though I am her chosen. Uh, tell me about your visions. I see what the goddess grants me, grants me. I see the destiny of my people. You had visions of me. Uh, it is said that you were come and that you would be the one to bring uh, about Valtra's defeat. But you already know of what I speak, don't you? You mean what I dreamed back at the end? Yes, I've seen it. Valsharis knows of the danger you represent. Um. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and level up really quick. Since. We have that. Oh, we get another improved two-weapon fighting. The character is able to get a second offhand attack at a minus five penalty. I think I'm probably going to take that. I get two feats, though, so let's see what else we have. Um, Okay, well, we're definitely going to take the two, the improved... Oh, okay. We're definitely going to take the improved two-weapon fighting... If the rogue is struck by a potentially lethal blow, they make a reflex save. If successful, they only take half damage from the from the blow. Plus four to opportunity attacks. When using the disable, open lock, or set trap, the character automatically rolls a 20 on any skill checks, even in combat. Okay, and then Slippery Mind gives us a... Um, I'm sorry character saving uh, failing their will save versus get an automatic reroll. Um I think I'd rather have that one. Has that put us in the point where we can use those boots now? 
think I still can't. All right, I'm, I'm waiting to get to the point where we can actually use that, but whatever. Okay, what I need at this point... Crap. What I need at this point is... Um, Mm. I know this episode is kind of long because of uh, all this extra stuff I'm having to do, but okay. Hold on. Cloak's not going to be Put that there. Okay. I need it. Well, hold on. I can... Well, I don't know. I think we're going to go ahead and... Well, let me... We're going to go ahead and call this an episode. I'll do the... I'll try to manage my inventory stuff between. Hopefully you guys are having lots of fun. Be sure to click that like button so the YouTube algorithm knows that you are. Subscribe to the channel so you know when the next video comes out. And I do have a link to my Patreon in the description if you'd like to help me turn this channel into a thriving online business. Again, thank you very much for your time. And I will see you for the next one. Let's see you for the next one.